We know that God wants to use us to change the world. Yeah. So what's the holdup? Is he waiting on us or are we waiting on him? And I want to read something from Invasion of Light that bears some light into this question. This is from the chapter, The Enemy of Our Invasion, The Kingdom of Darkness. You need to realize something. Satan fears the gospel. He knows this message has eternal power to set lost sinners free. He knows it alone can open sinners' eyes and turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God so that they may receive forgiveness of sins and a place among those who are sanctified by faith in Christ, Acts 26, 18. Even worse, Satan knows that whoever sees and receives the gospel falls from his evil clasp until further notice, having been rescued from the domain of darkness and transferred to the kingdom of God's beloved son, Colossians 1, 13. Once a sinner believes this gospel and deeply repents of all sin, Satan can't lay his evil fingers upon them any longer because Jesus keeps them safe and the evil one cannot harm them, 1 John 5, 18. Knowing this, Satan's army dedicates most of its efforts to blinding the world to God's plan of redemption, end quote. And, Amen. you know, I think that we don't realize that there's a spiritual warfare aspect in this question. Satan wants us to think that we're waiting on God. Right. Uh, Satan wants to trick us into thinking that there is something else that must happen before uh, God can use us. Of course, we do need to be empowered with the Holy Spirit. Right, That's right. something that needs to happen. Yeah. <laughs> but God's ready to give us the power. Without a doubt. And so Satan wants to confuse us about our role. Right. Because the reality is... Jesus has done everything needed to reconcile souls to himself, and now he's calling us to go out and to minister this ministry of reconciliation. Amen. Well, I think that's a good time to to, to read the verses. Yeah. I mean, because let's face it, you know, a faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, and we right. need to we need to read verses like this to remind us what God's call is for each and every one of us as believers of Jesus Christ. Right. And this is 2 Corinthians chapter 5. I'm going to start in verse 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Amen. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. I love that. Now listen to this. Verse 18. Now all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ. And listen, and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. That's past tense. He's already given it to us. Okay. That is that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself not imputing their trespasses to them and has committed, listen, he has committed to us. That's you. That's me. That's JJ. Anyone listening? Amen. The word of reconciliation. And now let me do it to verse 20. This is exciting. Now then we are, okay. That's a, that's a, that's a now was and future state. Yep. We are ambassadors for Christ Amen. as though, and this is important as though God we're pleading through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God, for he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in yes. him. And, you know, I, I love that word where he says pleading. It's, it's, it's translated different places, uh, but it's the word parakaleo, and yeah. it, it could be translated his desire. He's making known his desire through us, okay? His yeah. desire for reconciliation. He's making known his desire to call people to his side Amen. is how wow. that could be translated. And I mean, that's a beautiful thing. And, th yeah. and that's you, brother or sister, that's you. And that's us. And that gets me excited yeah. because, you know, a lot of people just kind of go through life, JJ, and they're like, well, God's really not doing anything. <laughs> and all we got to do is read this. And I don't know about you, it makes me want to get out and shout it from the mountaintops, Jesus Christ is Lord, and he will forgive you of your sins. He will save you. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I mean, Absolutely. <laughs> Please let us know you're watching. Like our video, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, and be sure to click the notifications bell. And that way, you'll also help others to see our content. And don't forget to check out our website, sharegodshope.com, where you can learn all about our missions work worldwide. God bless you as you share God's hope.